literally this court right here so many people got killed up here playing basketball uh, it was a big shootout on the news where my sister and mama and all of was up here uh, my little siblings all that and they could have got shot but they left right before it happened mama had me when she was only 15 daddy got killed when i was only four grew up in the hood had to get it out the mud had to pick up the sack i ain't want to be broke all my homeboys either dead in jail looking back i had to go hard i ain't want to fail now i'm on a plane on my way to do a show all right so i'm about to go to my old neighborhood um to shoot a song or to shoot a video to my song mask on real quick we just about to pull up knock it out it's going to be like a, a little visual that we shooting on my phone um the iphone 10 and i got like my uh dji osmo that we're gonna shoot on so it's my old neighborhood the house i grew up in and i mentioned it in my lyrics so i thought why not be a it'll be a good place to go and shoot it just because it's a good visual representation of what I'm talking about in the song. So y'all will see it. I mean, it's a, it's going to be a cool little scenery. And I'm going to edit it from um, from my laptop, make it real simple. And then uh, it's going to be out this Friday. Make sure you pre-order it in the description below. Pulling up on a block. This is literally where I used to play as a kid. Like, all this over here was like my life. It's a whole little thing. It look rough. Let's see go. Pulling up on the block where I grew up. Yeah, this is my old block right here. This is where I grew up. I got a truck right here that's random. Yeah, this is my old neighborhood. They got a Jaguar, Jaquan. This is like the perfect spot to shoot to. This is the house I grew up in. We on the block. It's like nothing but like DK over here. I'm gonna get out and show y'all. So this is the house I grew up in right behind me. Um, this whole neighborhood was literally like where my childhood was. So when I did my song Warzone, this is uh, what I was talking about. This exact house right here. Um, my granddad actually owned this house. I think he just let it go and let it um, decay and all that stuff. But yeah, this is the house right here. That Dexter Down, that's what they say where I'm from, Dexter Down. That's just like our neighborhood or whatever. But yeah, this is my childhood home right here. So we just did the, uh, the first scene in front of my house. My phone started to run out of memory, so I had to... Um, I had to stop and then we it was just like vibes that didn't really feel settling it was still kind of like uh it felt kind of sketchy because i ain't got my peoples over here with me so if somebody pull up and don't recognize me you just never know how it's going to turn up so um so yeah so basically i'm just trying to get the shots and i'm trying to do my best to get them without you know triggering people or like you know getting myself or my family in a crazy situation but um but yeah this court right here it was like people shot right there. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm go back around. This was like the first house I started recording in over here, y'all. It's abandoned now, but this is where I literally started my music career recording for like $5 an a hour, man, or a song. That junk was, it was wild, you know. Yeah, it was just like super barbaric where nothing went and no consequences. Like, you know what I mean? Somebody just pull up and just gun somebody down and just pull off and get away with it. Like, what? it wasn't no like normal society. And I think that's why like, I'm, I feel that same vibe that's when I'm over here, you know? Oh, it feels very abandoned. Like, yeah. I've seen, I mean, we see a lot of blight in Detroit, but this feels like, feels like nobody's really here. Jai, no, like, don't break that, really, I need this. Like, nobody really cares. <gasps> Yeah, but it was like it was like real barbaric like people would just pull up and just pop pop pop, you know Literally this court right here. So many people got killed up here playing basketball uh, It was a big shootout on the news where my sister and mama and all of was up here uh, My little siblings all that and they could have got shot, but they left right before it happened But yeah, eventually I'm gonna try to come out and do like a real full vlog here with like a team like security team or whatever just so I can like really get like uh 
some good stuff and not worry about my family and all that, you know what I mean? But this court, man, so many people done lost their life up here, man. It's crazy, you know? We on, uh, I'll show y'all. I'm on the corner of uh, Tuxedo and Dexter. That represent, like, this whole block, you know, that I grew up on. The Tuxedo and Dexter right there. That's the street that I grew up on. So, yeah, if y'all want to drive by and visit, that's the way to do it. So, all these bottles are for all the people that died over here. Um, it's like a memorial thing that they set up for, like, people who was killed and all that. Yeah. This is where my school used to be, literally right here. We used to walk to school every day, um, elementary school. It ain't nothing right here right now, though. Huh? Got demolished. Yeah, it got tore down. But yeah, um, this is where we used to play it. Like, it's crazy. Because it, these houses are across the street from the school right here before it got tore down. All right. So, look, we just left. Um, we just left Tuxedo and was filming. We got some good footage and all that. But it, it felt real weird over there because um, it was quiet, but you knew people was over there. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, it was like people driving by and all that, just staring, trying to figure out what I was doing. Not too many people, but yeah. And like, I feel like it's it's better if I go over there prepared. Like if I got, you know, some people with me over there, like some of the older people, cause like some of the newer people, they, they kind of treat it like it's their territory, you know? Yeah, either you or like uh, Spank. I mean, you know, he could have pulled up. Um, it was, remember that time when I had you come over there and uh, I was filming that video with that camera team and he was scared? <laughs> yeah, you should have did it on my birthday. Do you have people up? Where was y'all at? Huh? Where was y'all at? No, I said you should have did it on my birthday. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I picked up on my birthday. The one coming up or what? Wait, why you say that? Because you going to have a party or something? No, I'm saying everybody going to be with me on my birthday. Yeah. Because you know what I mean? Because I, I hate to like... Because that's how it is. Like if everybody... um, If I was with everybody and they, you know, they got their respect. But I would hate to get into a confrontation with somebody and then they find out that all the OGs respect me. And then they looking dumb because they like... Oh dang! I done got into it with this guy, and then the big homie's telling me that he cool, you know. And then now I done, you know, cause I was like, should I bring my gun with, or should I bring, should I bring it with me or not? But then it just was just like, nah, let's just get over there and, and film, and you know. Uh, they ain't gonna, uh, even play. They probably don't know you said you older, but if you, if somebody was to ask, you know, fake for I'm cool you and you be like you punk and fun, class nephew, they will know who you is, straight. Yeah, because that's what... I mean, I know you could do older, but... Yeah. I'm sure they still remember. Yeah, that's funny, because, yeah. like, cause like, all them, yeah, like, uh, all the guys over there. Yeah, it's funny, because I do look different, but um, it was funny. I remember that time I got into it with Seville a long time ago, and then I was like, uh, he pulled out a K on us. And then I was like, uh, I'm about to go tell my auntie Taz, and then when I brought you back, he was like, Taz, oh, what up, man, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but nah, you you right though. Yeah, it's just crazy being back over there. But it was cool. We got some good footage. Um, we got some good footage. I'm gonna show y'all when uh when I'm done. About to go up in this dollar store real quick. Take a quick break before I um before I finish shooting this video. Then we gonna get right back at it. She sent me here with this thick list. I gotta find all this stuff in this dollar store. I'm always like messing it up too so that's gonna be crazy let's see let's figure this out all right all right, we're on our way to the last location. Um, and then we done. I'm going to edit this mug and try to have it up to pre-watch it tonight or the to premiere, whatever, for Friday. Try to have it up on YouTube tonight, y'all. It's going to be a lot of work, but I feel like I can do it if I don't overthink it and just knock it out. But we're about to go to the final location somewhere super abandoned. I got an idea, um, and it's going to be sweet, but I'll show y'all soon. All right, we got our final location right here in Detroit. This is the, um, I don't know what building this is, but this is it. Packer plant? You know, you sure? All right, this is it though. Yeah, we about to film right here. All right, we just got done filming, and it was fun. It was dope. Um, I'm about to basically edit it 
and then try to literally finish it like quick i'm gonna throw some really cool like edits on there i already got some ideas what i'm gonna do um I'm gonna try to edit it really fast. I'm gonna try to make it look dope, but not overthink it. So I'm gonna, I can't wait for y'all to see this Friday, man. For real, it's about to be lit. Security pulled up on us. I thought he was about to tell us to leave, but I kept filming and he said we could stay in this parking lot, but just not go in the building because you could die in there. But yeah, I'm excited for this, for real. All right, I gotta grab me some gas real quick. Um, then I'm about to go to Home Depot. Gotta pick up some stuff or whatever. Um, fix my plumbing at the crib and all that. And then after that, I'm about to edit this video. I'm getting gas right now. I might actually stop at Starbucks and grab me a Frappuccino because I'm tired as heck. Like, for I don't know how I'm going to do it. Man, I'm at Starbucks. About to order me a drink. Oh, honestly, just want to go sleep. Like, for real. Um, This sun got me exhausted. But I know what I need to do. I got to finish my plumbing for my, um, for my bathtub. And then I got to edit this video. So, I got work to do. I ain't got time to slack. But hopefully the... Hopefully there's some good amount of espresso up in this drink because I need it like bad, you know, like bad, bad, like bad, bad. All right, I'm up in here looking for this piece. This mug is slapping, 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 slapping. All I got to do is find it. These things right here, literally all I got to get. This line is <clears throat> extra long though. Jai, I came home about to finish the video and all that and Jai got his new skateboard. Look at that. Get off of Tomorrow, me. Tomorrow, Jai, you're going to get your Here, flip it back. over. Ooh, okay, look. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, Whoa, okay. that mug hard. Tomorrow, here come his knee pads, elbow pads, helmet. Our hair is woo. Yeah, I'm recording myself. Look at me and his hair. Rough, boy. Let's blame it on the quarantine, Jai. Anyways, I'm about to take my son skating. His brand new skateboard just came in the mail. I'm about to take him skating through a really nice neighborhood in Detroit. Then I'm going to edit the video, y'all. I promise. I know I've been putting it off, but I've been so busy. I had to fix my plumbing and all that stuff, but I'm done. So I'm about to go skate with my son, and I'll be back. All right, we at the park. We about to go skating. Yeah. At the park, about to go skating real quick. He just got his new skateboard. This mug is sweet. All right, come on, Jai. You ready? Come on. Come over here and skate. I want him to be the first one to ride. I ain't trying to jump on right now. Come on, Jai. Let's skate over here really quick first. Because you can't really skate down there. Oh, get up, get up. Remember how I told you how to skate like a scooter? Here, come on. I'm going to hold your hand while you skate like a scooter. Come on. Here, get up. Let me pull your pants up. Yeah. All right, now get on your board. Okay. Get on your board. Now you're going to pedal like a skateboard or a scooter, remember? Here, skate, pedal like a uh, scooter. There you go. There you go. Look, look at that. All right, we got to. No, oh, it don't really go fast in the grass. Yeah, the wind blowing. That's why we got our jackets. Let me zip your jacket up really quick. All right, so I made it back home, and man, I am like so tired. It's only like <clears throat> almost ten o'clock, but I gotta finish this vlog for tonight and this video. But I just uploaded. Let me show you. I just uploaded. Well, I'm putting everything into computer and um i'm about to start editing the video so i just got to drag all my clips in there and then i'm gonna start editing it but i guess this is it's the end of the vlog because i'm about to start editing the video and y'all will see it friday um i was gonna try to put some teasers in there or in this vlog but i think i just need to go ahead and knock this out especially if i want to get this vlog up so thanks for watching y'all make sure y'all pre-order the song below in the link below and be looking out for the song it drops friday in a music video so just i hope i really get some um a lot of work done on this to knock it out tonight but much love y'all make sure y'all subscribe comment below i'll be in the comments peace